As refugees return to Turkey, the movement of migrants is subsiding in other places. The borders to the Balkans have been closed and no refugees are entering Germany through Hungary. Some are wondering if the new plan is enough to make a difference. CCTV's Guy Henderson reports from Berlin. A few months ago, this canteen would have been packed. Now, just 50 migrants and refugees pass through this shelter each week. Since the closure of borders across the Balkans, centres like these around Germany have had space to breathe. For all of us, and not just for refugees, because we have more time to, for, to do more work with the refugees and spend more time in, in our consulting work and, uh, uh, you know, it's offering some social um, help for them. It's, uh, last year was, was more chaotic. No one knows if the lull will last. Europe's refugee deal with Turkey is now in effect, but the plan to save Europe's open borders is progressing slowly. 32 refugees arrived in Germany on Monday by plane. In return, Ankara took back a few hundred failed asylum seekers from Greece. If we do not change the measures have been heavily criticised by rights groups. At a migration conference in Berlin, European officials remained optimistic. For the first time in such a long time, you could sense the political will to find a joint solution. Realism requires us to acknowledge that without Turkey, we cannot find a solution. But this does not mean that in return, we would sell off our values. But there remains significant doubt among EU member states. We have spent 0.25 percent of our GDP on protecting the border and making sure that we comply with the Schengen regulation. And now what we can say proudly to the German people that through the territory of Hungary, there are no irregular migrants entering the territory of Germany. I think this is solidarity. Even those involved in brokering the EU-Turkey deal aren't pretending that it's perfect, but many do seem to believe that it is the least worst option. And on day one of its partial implementation, there are already clear signs that it may not itself be enough. Attention is returning south. The French government believes up to 800,000 people may be massing on the Libyan coast. That development is raising fears that Europe's only plan may yet be another diversion. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Berlin.